Okay, just got the new 2020 4815 one software. Wow. It avoided that oncoming truck and the garbage cans. That was wild. It's slowing down a lot better for speed bumps too. Let me just make sure I got that version number right. 2020 12.15, sorry. The visualization seems to be running a lot better. So the last version I pointed out, there was a, uh, definitely a low frame rate issue. The screen was kind of like hesitating, the objects were dropping. You can see it's like, it's just rendering a lot faster. Hopefully the quality is good. I switched it to 5K30 tonight because it's so dark. When I'm running in higher frame rates at night, it just, the picture's too dark. So today we're gonna be doing 5K30. Here's the unprotected left-hand turn that is blind, that I've always complained about. Let's see how it handles it this time. It's like stopping <laughs> in the intersection. However, it was safe. There was no cars coming. But it did creep out a lot slower, but it still didn't say that it was going to creep, which I still want to see. sure what the speed was doing there. I didn't catch it because we were going 30, 37, but it was a 30. Now we're going 27, so I don't know if it's because all the garbage cans are around. Oof, let me grab all my stuff. All these sanitizer bottles everywhere. <laughs> It actually seems to be driving pretty smooth, actually. So we're gonna head up into Midtown, do a couple roundabouts, and just head back home. Just a quick drive. Tomorrow I have a pretty awesome drive planned with my best friend. We're gonna go up to the mountains, test the new FSD beta, some drone footage, I got a new camera, so I'm super excited. Parking lane again. Report that. Not the right lane. <laughs> oh my gosh. But at least this time it's in the right turn lane. But see what's happening? It keeps turning into these parking lanes. I'm just gonna keep reporting them. Back in FSD. wave cross traffic it's waiting a long time that car was at the stoplight and it didn't go so i'm hitting the accelerator because it's just taking way too long to go through this i think it was actually struggling to see the road here maybe that's why it was kind of hesitating Thank you. 
I tapped the accelerator because it said tap to continue. Wow, it took this so much smoother, but it still slowed down to almost 50 miles an hour after, but it wasn't jerking me around the road, so that was actually a huge improvement. Turns are a lot smoother, so normally when I'd be taking turns, it'd be like kind of jerky. I mean, there was a little bit of jerkiness, but it, it was definitely a lot smoother than normal. Now it's putting us kind of wide here. I just hope it stops. I'm taking over because the car was starting to creep out. There's pedestrians coming, as you can see. We have this car going around the roundabout. I think they were gonna do the left turn here, but I don't know, maybe they're... <laughs> okay, maybe they're drunk. That car literally like went up on the roundabout. So it stopped for the cross traffic, that's good. It is clear now, so I'm just waiting for the car to proceed. I mean, it was slow, but it, it worked. So the only complaint I have about that, it was a bit slow, but it was so much smoother. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, look at this. This is the road that with all the leaves on it. Remember my car would be bouncing around the road here? Look, it's not bouncing the steering wheel straight. Wow. Okay. Now let's head into Midtown. There's those dogs again. Uh, I guess they don't want to cross in the crosswalk. Wow, just initial impression is it's driving a lot smoother. So, oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that wasn't good. That's interesting. Anyway, so I intervened there because as you saw, it was about to run us up on that, that center curb there. But look at the steering wheel. It's driving like straight down the road now. So my, I've complained, I think nearly ever released that it's like weaving me down the road like a drunk driver. It's driving me straight down the road now. Now there's cross traffic. Okay, so I'm not sure, it creeped out a little bit too fast in my opinion, there's cars coming. So I took over because you just can't see. It did say it was creeping out for visibility though, but it's still like, it like, it's really hard to describe because you guys aren't with me, but it, it accelerates pretty, pretty, I wouldn't say creep. When I creep forward, I literally just like roll. I don't kind of like accelerate and you can kind of feel the car accelerate a little bit too much. So like, I, I want them to tune that a bit more. So it, I, I nearly everyone that has an unprotected turn or unprotected intersection, nearly, all of us intervene, like every single one of us. And it's because it doesn't just like roll. You know what I mean? It, it's hard to describe. Like if you're with me, you know what I'm talking about. That's why I like to have people with me to, to experience this. Again, it's, it's struggling with this particular roundabout for some reason. It did it completely. It wasn't natural, but it did it. Okay. Ooh. Good. not work there. <laughs> oh, that was not good. So what happened was, is it took the turn too wide and it was actually trying to attempt to drive into this new 
bike parking lane thing that they have here in Sacramento. So I just did a quick snapshot of that particular... I mean, the intervention took it anyway, but that wasn't too good. So now I have the routing set. There's a huge amount of traffic. So I live in an area in Sacramento called East Sacramento. And during East Sacramento, I mean, during the holidays, everyone goes all out and they do decorations in the Fab 40s area. So the traffic is horrendous right now in East Sacramento. So the nav is actually having me route down, I think it's H Street. I'm going to, I'm just manually driving because I wanted to reroute me down Capitol, which is where it always does that weird left-hand turn. And last time I let it happen, it actually kind of tried to go into traffic. So I'm just gonna try to see if it gets me down to Capitol. That's why I'm driving manually for now. There we go. Now we're back in FSD. So every time I've engaged FSD while I'm moving, I've noticed it's been kicking on the left-hand turn signal. That's kind of new, that's a little strange, but it's not earth shattering. It's not like throwing on the turn signal all the time anymore, which is great. It's, it's struggling to turn here. So that car turned, went way over the line. I don't know if you noticed that, but they were way over the line. I had to actually disengage because it just wasn't, see it turned on the left turn signal. It just wasn't, wasn't going. <laughs> but I think it was confused because it couldn't see the lane lines with that car parked uh, pulled out over the stop line. So that was actually a really unique scenario there. But we're back in FSD mode now. That's why you see it jump wide. Oh, one thing I noticed is different. So right off the bat, the stop lights. That was interesting. So the stoplights that my car was responding to was the ones that were highlighted light color or brighter. The other ones that were actually for the left turn lanes, they were like a dimmer color. That's the first time I noticed that change. So this particular light, they're all, they're all for me. So you can see they're all bright red. Last intersection, only two were for me and those were bright red. So it's actually, it's knowing which lights to respond to. Now, that's actually something new for me in this release for the FSD. That was interesting. And this particular video, I'm just keeping really short. It was just like a quick initial drive. Tomorrow, like I said, I have a really long drive planned up in the mountains. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Got some new filming equipment. Interesting. Like it was trying to widen there. Super curious that they fix this issue here. So I don't know if you guys recall, every time I drive right around this area, right around 36th Street, it always turns on left turn signal. It's just an always. I'm talking every single beta release I've ever had his left turn signal here. So let's see. Oh, this is where it always turns. It hasn't turned. Okay. That was a significant fix for me. Now, all of this traffic stop ahead of us is because of all of the holiday lights in East Sacramento. Interesting, so the car is actually, I would have stopped at the front of this intersection because now we're blocking traffic. So this was improper handling. <laughs> yeah, definitely improper handling of how it reacted to this.
It should have stopped at the in the front of the intersection here. Now we're in the middle of the intersection <laughs> and I'm blocked and I can't back up because there's cars behind me. So I had to intervene and override this. Okay, so I'm not in FSD. Now I'm in FSD. This is what I'm talking about. East Sacramento holiday lights. So I feel like we're going way too fast because if a car pulls out, this would be very dangerous for us. So I'm cutting the speed down to 20 because this is just pretty wild. Uh, I mentioned before a lace adjacent lane speed control. We need to have that enabled in city exactly for this kind of scenario that you're seeing all these cars trying to go into the Fab 40s area. And what it keeps doing is it keeps jumping up to the speed limit. So I do feel like there needs to be an adjustment here. I feel like adjacent lane speed control should be functioning in city for this exact scenario. Like if a car pulled out, we would just hit. It would not be fun. But it's handling all this just fine. That's just more of a personal critique from my point of view where I think we need to have adjacent speed control. Oh, so I just felt a little like kind of like a little uh, steering adjustment there. There was actually a really large part, pot, the pothole on the road, uh, like a manhole cover. And I think the car detected that. And that's why I felt that little kind of like maneuver. Interesting. I'm really curious during the day how it's gonna be performing. So the lane line color is actually, it's doing a much better job at detection. So it's white right here, but it's yellow all behind and to the side. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Once I do my full test loop, I'll probably do that after Christmas because you know the holidays and stuff like that. So probably on Friday, no, on Saturday. Most likely, I'll do my full test loop after the holiday's over. So let's just bump the speed up here, because I am going a bit slow. <laughs> so it's always not taking my left-hand turn onto my street, ever, ever, ever. So let's see if they've corrected this. So we got, oh, look at that. Wow. It got into my lane. It. This is the first time it's done it, ever. Now, I do have a challenging intersection here. It's a left-hand turn. However, it's trying to like turn early. Oh man. Okay, so I intervened there. So I think what's happening is it's struggling. I have like a, a right-hand turn that's like a single lane right. Anyway. So overall, they've made quite a few adjustments that I've, I've noticed, so I don't know what that was about. So far, it actually didn't throw on the turn signal and try to turn me left on any of those side streets now. So that's an awesome first initial impression. Handled the roundabouts a little slow, but it handled them. And driving down roads is much smoother. So expect a longer video from me later this week. So that's just my initial impression. Thanks everyone, have a good evening.